previously on Kingdom Corn. I unbox the Universal Monsters Hunchback Leonardo. At first, I was totally enthused by just how awesome it looked. It was a great creative concept to me. That Hunchback look was kind of good for Leonardo. But ultimately, I ended up way more disappointed than I should have been. This thing had total quality control issues. NECA really needed to get that fixed for me to enjoy this action figure. Hopefully, today's unboxing will make everything feel much better. It is a miracle to be here today. Welcome back. This is Kingdom Corn. Yeah. What have we got going on today in Kingdom Corn? Well, it looks rather scary, but I hope we can get through today. <laughs> yeah, welcome guys. Thank you all so much for clicking on my thumbnail. This is Kingdom Corn, and we have got a very special unboxing and review for you guys today. <laughs> yeah, man, are you guys scared? <laughs> I mean, it is just a box, but check out the back of this. It is, of course, Bada Frankenstein, April O'Neil. The back looks like a 1950s classic horror film that my mom had me watch against my will. Nah, <laughs> just kidding, but uh, I mean, I don't know what there is not to love about the back of these boxes. They look like this on the back of all of them, Leonardo, they all have the same type of design. There on the front, she is looking as April O'Neillish as you would ever want an April O'Neill to look. <laughs> wow. There on the left is her picture. That's how she looks all in her lab in full form. Now, guys, I kind of have to admit, like I have never actually watched any type of old Bride of Frankenstein movie. So when I see this staff in her hand, I have no clue what it is, what it does, why she has it in her hand, but she has it and that is good for her. <laughs> yeah, now just looking through the plastic, you can see all of her wicked, horrible accessories that comes with this action figure. I want to get this on open up and that way we can look at this stuff firsthand. Not that I want to touch or handle anything that I am seeing here. Wow. Don't you guys just love when just simply taking it out of the box just seems like quality? Oh man, I am having a very, very good feeling about this unboxing here. <laughs> Dang, she is looking crazy like that Leonardo because there are bugs, insects all over her wardrobe. I mean, I guess if that's how she likes to do it, I don't see nothing wrong with that. But as for me, uh, <laughs> I don't know why she has two of the same dang on head sculpt. I mean, they could have just kept one because I mean, these are just twin head sculpts for whatever reason. Hey, whatever floats there, boats. Let me get on this thing out of the old package here. <laughs> I want you guys to know this. When you are pulling these out, keep in mind that they are held down by like a little tie thingy. So don't go just trying to rip it on out because NECA have got enough of these quality control issues. You don't want to make it worse by uh, pulling their arm off, just getting these out of the plastic. There she is with all of her accessories. Man, she looks insane. <laughs> this is like a dagger. It pretty much looks like Raphael's side. So I don't know if that's a Roger Frankenstein thing or an April O'Neil type of thing. Here is her alternate head stuff 
The only difference here, this has slightly smile face on here, a slightly smiling face. So other than that, there is no reason to just be messing with. I mean, look, these are like twins. Dang. <laughs> what else? Apparently, there is definitely some freaky stuff going on wherever this lady stay at because she has pet rats and these pet rats have human body parts on their sides growing out the sides one's got an ear one has got an eye man these poor rats i don't know what they be doing to them in this frankenstein lab here but you know if these pets make her feel good and if she makes these pets feel good then you know what am i to say about that <laughs> here is her trademark april o'neill pocketbook Except with a kind of dirty dungeony twist. <laughs> Bones all coming out. Don't know why she would be toting a bone. And I don't want to know why she would be toting a bone in her purse. This purse has a very, very nice scalp. I like the way that it looks dirty. It looks genuine. And I do appreciate NECA for always having some really good accessories. The chain, it's a little, I mean, nothing special about it. But the chain works for what it needs to work for. April can clearly wield this purse with no problem. And I'm pretty sure this will make her look like a full April. I mean, I'm sorry. Bride of Frankenstein. April wouldn't dare. <laughs> cool. Now this Bride of Frankenstein, not sure what her taste is. But she has got no shortage of creepy crawlers around her at all times. This is the spider. I would like to probably keep this on my decks and just scare myself every now and again. These are a set of hands. They are for gripping and holding things. Uh, apparently this will be used for her staff, whatever the device is called and used for. I mean, nothing kind of new here, just a basic pair of hands. Right here is her crazy scientific experimentational staff i don't want to know once again what type of thing she does with this and i don't want to be around to find out whenever she is wielding it this thing's pretty neat looking i don't know what other action figures i might can kind of pair this with to give them that creepy vibe also let me know what action figure i could pair that staff with as for april herself i am totally like blown away because of the fact that I really did not expect much to begin with. Like once I got her out of the box, I noticed immediately the details here are just very just potent. She has uh, a clear look of horror. There is no question what they were going for here. Just like the Leonardo, she's got bugs crawling around her wardrobe. And I mean, just, you don't want to run up on this April O'Neil. <laughs> now, I am noticing that the way she is dressed, it looks like she has got this coat. It is a rubbery plastic, so it's not soft goods and it's not totally hard. It is totally detachable. So if you do want to remove it and just show her without the coat on, then you could clearly do that. Um, you may have to take the arms off though because um, I just wouldn't want to be struggling too hard messing around with that So apparently you got to get these arms off and we'll check out those Insects just chilling on her jacket if she likes it like that <laughs> Yeah, um, dude that looks like a worm right there, but really It's not actually a worm and it did creep me out But really it's some type of tube that goes in her back Apparently, it has something to do with the formation of her in general. <laughs> now, uh, let's get a closer look at these bugs on her back. You can see the textures, the different shades of the paint. It is lovely. Down the middle, this stitching down here is actually the same stitching that she has on her body. So whoever put her together, that is pretty lazy to me. You guys can see those earrings. Man, she likes to dress in style, just like her dagger. They both have that electricity 
type of lightning bolt earring or I mean style <laughs> guys I'm totally impressed by this action figure I really did not have high expectations at all but the colors are nice the details go NECA wow y'all isn't she beautiful <laughs> dude she might be better like this yo <laughs> now let's go ahead and get right into the articulation now first off you can see just how far back these elbows been that should let you know right off the rip just how many joints that they put on this action figure like she doesn't really have to do too much um her wrists they turn they don't do as much as the leonardo did like she's not like spider-man or anything her doggone uh dress is going to get in the way of this leg movement as you can see here like yeah her legs don't do too much because um you know there's that issue double jointed on the knees once again she's no spider-man so it's not like they have to do very much not sure why this character would really need to bend her legs that far back there isn't really, you know, anything that she's going to be jumping on unless she's like squashing her rat one day after getting pissed off. You know, she is a monster, so can be unpredictable. <laughs> but yeah, these joints, they're not hard and they're definitely not loose. So I can see the difference between this and my personal Leonardo. Don't know if they all were like that. She can bend down just fine but she cannot do any squats her head now it is nice and loose i like that because you can easily turn her head and not like obstruct the rest of your poses she won't fall down you saw that on her neck just like a frankenstein should actually have head just you know it does whatever you need it to do i'm totally just feeling everything about this there is nothing wrong there is a twist of the body again like she can't do very very much but she does anything that an actual april o'neill would need to actually do so good job NECA. this is much better than that doggone hunchback leonardo at least for mines And there is Leonardo Hunchback along with Bride of Frankenstein, April O'Neil. Here they are next to each other. Their scale is pretty nice. He is much bigger than she is. And he is much shorter, seeing that he's all humpback. <laughs> now, I do not have the Frankenstein Raphael. I just really didn't want it. I just don't like how it looks. But you guys can see how she scales just with him. These are two freaky looking action figures. Definitely cool to have in any collection. I only wish that my Leonardo had actually worked a lot better. So, thank you guys for watching to the end of my video. So on that note, you guys stay good, stay blessed. That way hopefully you don't end up anything like whatever the heck happened to these guys right here. <laughs> and always recognize that anything is possible if you believe. That is facts. <laughs> this is Kingdom Corn. You guys stay awesome and always be great. <laughs> we are out of here.